You don't have to have a degree in religion to understand the Bible. God is not the author of confusion. He gave the Bible to reveal where you came from, why you are here, and where you are going. The Bible is instruction for life, and it applies to the situations we humans face every day. Yes, there are difficult passages that require some deeper study, but you can understand the basics the first time you read, and most of it is basic. These short commentaries by Al illustrate the practical nature of the Word of God. Here's Al Parr with another short commentary. In Proverbs chapter 29, the first verse says, He that, being often reproved, hardeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. What a sad picture that is. But the culture of pluralism in our age has had a strong effect on the work, and unfortunately on the attitude, of the church. The live and let live philosophy of about a half century ago was characterized in generally a few self-centered folks. But it went through the I'm okay, you're okay phase of about a quarter century ago until now it has permeated practically every nook and corner of society. And it stands as an intended prohibition against reproof and correction. Preachers meet it every day. Parents of teens and adolescents meet it practically every hour. Why should I has become the signature response to any effort to urge right behavior. You can't make me is the defiant retort of a stubborn will. You're not my judge is the belligerent retort of one whose wrong ways or words are reproved in an effort to encourage walking in the light of truth and the way that leads to eternal peace and happiness and reward. It's not uncommon to hear children say, I'll be glad when I'm an adult so I won't have all these rules that people have to live by. Adults have it so easy. Well, if your children haven't said that, they're probably not old enough to speak yet. I'm the boss of me was a popular declaration a few years ago of children, but now a national culture lives by that philosophy. You are not, you never were, and you never will be the rule maker for your life. You will one day stand before the judgment bar of God, and if you've broken God's laws and not come to Him in repentance, you will pay for your belligerence and your selfishness today. Nobody's perfect, but when somebody tells you that the course you're taking is a way to destruction, it would be foolish not to listen and consider the possibility that they might be right. Look at all the evidence, try to defend yourself, but do so against the true proven standard of the Word of God. And when you find that you're on the wrong road, turn around. Don't knowingly, belligerently head into eternal spiritual destruction. Walk in the pathway of God, and God will bless you. Please commit some time today to read your Bible. See for yourself how practical it is. And contact the Church of Christ in your community. Or to find the nearest local church, visit www.churchofchrist.org. There are dashes between those words, Church of Christ. These short commentaries by Al are presented by Confirming the Churches. Find us on the web at www.acts1541.org.